It's tempting to start this story by explaining just how cold 20 below really feels. But this is Fairbanks, Alaska. It's almost always cold. Besides, being cold is the point, because cold awesome. means clear skies, and that can open a window to the wonderful. Oh, wow. Oh, my. The Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights. They've been dancing across these lofty latitudes for as long as the Earth has been dancing around the sun. From the International Space Station, time-lapse photos show just how impressive the show really is. But they are as elusive as they are mysterious, and catching the lights in person takes a bit of doing. If you're going out with us, you have to be prepared, because we go out in any conditions that are safe to do so. Um, and that means down to 45 below zero. That's still safe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're properly dressed for it, yes. Ron and Marquetta Murray's photos bring the aurora into heavenly focus. I think we have uh, good clear skies, and the aurora are playing nice, finally. So. They also run a tour company, taking photo enthusiasts on the Mike. chase of their lives. We're going to head up to a little area called Cleary Summit. They're up when the sun is down, driving along Alaska's snow-covered roads. We will be climbing to around 2,600 feet. To find the picture-perfect position. Have you ever got your cameras out and ready to go? All right. For this. Oh, wow. Woohoo! <laughs> Ken and Kevin Fox from San Francisco couldn't believe their eyes. This green band had all turned purple, and then it started dancing around, and it just all opened out. The whole sky blew up. So. Just, just like this, too. Just like that. <laughs> Most of the time, it's just like, wow. I mean, your jaw is just, you're trying to pick it up off the snow. You're just, wow. You said it's almost like a, it's almost like a drug. It is. <laughs> it is very much like a drug. For some of their clients, like this woman, the natural high can be almost overwhelming, in a good way. She just fell down and she dropped her knee and she's like, oh my God, thank you so much. It brought me to tears because she was really so excited. Is it a spiritual experience? It is very spiritual. It is very moving. It is something that touches you inside in a way that you can't, there aren't words for it. Best explained, the Aurora is essentially a neon sign without the tube. It all begins with the sun's solar winds. They send highly charged particles hurtling through space. Some of them are pulled toward the Earth's magnetic poles. It's the collision between those particles and our own atmosphere that creates that eerie glow. The aurora borealis in the north, the aurora australis in the south. When you're seeing the shapes, you're literally seeing the magnetic field lines being blown around by the solar winds. That's what it actually That's is. That's what it is. That's the dance. The aurora can only be seen during the winter months, and some years, the activity is better than others. In fact, there's no guarantee you'll ever see a display. But when it is there, there's no other light show like it. They're alive and free-flowing. Among some Alaskan natives, those green wisps are thought to be the spirits of their ancestors. Sean Topcock is an Anupiaq Eskimo. My parents would tell us stories you know, if we whistle at the Northern Lights, it would make the lights dance a little bit brighter. But if he whistled too much, they warned. The spirits would come down and cut off your head and play Eskimo football with your head. So you shouldn't whistle too loudly. The lights haven't lost all their mystery or the reverence afforded them. The Poker Flat Research Range, outside Fairbanks, was largely built specifically to study the aurora. Its main road is named after its former longtime director, Neil Brown. It was a huge mystery to us until we could use photography and simple spectrographs to document what those colors were. We've solved most of those technical problems, but we still are left with a lot of really cool scientific basic research things. The current nagging question, does Mother Nature's psychedelic light show actually make a sound? 
We have tried to record it, never have succeeded, and yet we have hundreds and hundreds of reports going back 200 years that are pretty consistent about what people have heard. Wow. Fascinating. So there's still lots of questions. Lots of questions. Five, four, three, now. To learn more, researchers at Poker Flat aim sounding rockets straight into the heart of the aurora, like this launch back in January. But even for the best of the best, catching an aurora in the middle of its magic act can be pretty tricky business. In fact, we have just a tiny sliver of aurora on the horizon right now, so that'll be good. Ron and Marquetta use several different models that help predict when and where the show might be. But it's still a roll of the celestial dice. And the pressure is on. Some of the folks who make this chilly commitment have come from a half a world away. Look at that. Very Not good. Not bad, huh? Jose Tobias was aurora chasing from Mexico. Personally, I think this is one of the natural, natural things that we have to see in our lives. Very nice. May and Michelle came here all the way from Malaysia. It's my dream. <laughs> yeah? It's my dream to see that not in life. But sometimes the stakes are especially personal. On more than one occasion, Ron and Marquetta have helped grant a dying wish, like they did for this man with terminal cancer. This is one of the last memories he had in his life. And so when you are responsible for that type of an experience for people, you learn that you can't take it for granted. Because while we get to do this nearly every night, um, most of the folks we're taking out don't. It took us a few days of waiting, but the wait was certainly worth it. If Ron and Marquetta's pictures of us under the Aurora's glow look almost fake, well, that's understandable. Because no picture, and certainly no words, can describe how that special glow can warm you from the inside out. <laughs>